Greetings, Dragon Sworn. And should be Dragon Sworn. I hope everybody's having a good day. Uh, today we're going to talk about something um, that's been slowly, slowly, more and more worrying me. Um, I I may end up going off into a little rant here. I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure yet, but uh, as little tidbits of information have been coming in, and I understand. I do understand. The show is very close. Uh, the fifteenth, we get the premiere. Uh, or we're gonna get reactions from from other YouTubers uh, and people, which I'm not sure uh, how much stock I'm gonna put in most of those, but. The 19th is coming. I can understand it. So uh, I know all all will be answered uh, on the 19th. But what's the fun in that? <laughs> uh, you know, we have some information, and why don't we pick it apart? That's what what theorizing is is a part of. You get a little tidbit, you theorize what you what you think is going to happen. Now I could be completely wrong. Uh, I don't think I am, but we will see on the 19th and. You know what? If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I hope I am. But um, we're talking about uh, Matrim Cawthon here. Um, probably one of, if not the most popular character in the books, in the Wheel of Time. Um, he is beloved by many, 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 many Wheel of Time readers, including myself. Uh, I don't know if he, he is my favorite, but he's up there. Uh, uh, you're always happy to get to a mat chapter, we'll put it that way. Um, but some major concerns have been arising here shortly as we're getting drip-fed information trying to get us ready for the for the show. Um, and I just, uh, you know, talking to, to people uh, around me, uh, I just, I'm starting to have some, uh, I'm getting a pit in my stomach when it comes to Matt. And, uh, a viewer named uh, PJ Maybe, shout out to you, PJ, uh, sent me a link to a IGN video about the characters, introducing us to the characters. Um, it's for a different reason, but as I watched this, which I hadn't watched before, uh, everything was pretty okay till we got to Matt, and even after Matt was pretty okay. The, but um, Matt is, uh, well, I, we'll just put it this way. I don't think the Matt we're going to see in the TV show is the Matt that we all know and love. We'll just put it that way real quick. And uh, I don't know. I, I Like I said, I might go go off here in a minute. I'm just sort of going off the cuffs, cusp here. I've uh, been watching a little too much court, to, court TV on Ricada Law lately. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so may, so I, I may start, uh, you know, Grandstanding and, and, and providing evidence here that to, to back up this theory, but like I said again, this could all this will all be moot here in a few days. Uh, we're counting down to the release, so um, let's get on with it. We're gonna talk about Matt here for a few minutes, um, and uh, there's there's I'm I'm gonna present three things that that make me think that Matt has has been completely annihilated, completely annihilated uh, for this show. Now I'm being a hyper, little hyperbolic, but I don't care. I, you know, Matt is very, very important, very, very important, very, very beloved, uh, and one of the best. Like I said, so first thing we're going to look at is this uh, image from one of the episodes. Um, I think it's from the first one. Pretty sure it's from the first one. It would make sense as the first one, but I didn't leave a note. So, like I said, I'm just sort of throwing this together. But that's Pat and Fane on the left, who I think looks fine. I think he's looking a little creepy, so that's good. Matt looks angry. And we all know that Matt is an angry, angry person, right? <laughs> Matt Matt just goes off whenever he can, right? He's a he's a mad guy. He he just he's gonna look at you and go grr and, and argue with you about I don't know what they're arguing about here, but he, I, Matt is clearly pissed off or being intimidating or I don't know but that face right there is not what I imagine Matt's demeanor to ever look like um, I mean he looks mean 
<laughs> we'll just say it straight out. He looks mean, and uh, that that's never a look that, at least not right now, that I want to see on Matt. At the beginning of the of this this story, this is not how Matt should be uh, having interactions with anybody. This is not uh, how his character is. He's not a mean spirited person. He's uh, by. He's, a, he's got some of the. He's got a mile long list of titles. One of which is the trickster. Uh, this, this doesn't look like a guy that likes having fun and and playing tricks on people, does it? Not to me. So, uh, so. But that's just a, that's just a simple screenshot that could be taken completely out of context, right? Maybe I don't know. Doesn't look good right there. But Pat and Fane looks good. <laughs> Uh, so let's let's move on to the next thing. It's been out for a while. Okay, now we come to the explore page on the Prime Video site, which is a cool. I like I do like this feature. But we're gonna go specifically to Matt here, okay? And we're gonna read this again because I think this completely and, and I had bad feelings about it when I saw it. It's the it's a complete mischaracterization of Matt and the Cawthons, quite frankly. Um, but let's read it real quick it, and, and we'll talk about it a little bit real quick right after because this is completely not Matt or his family so Matt is always ready for a smart, with a smart remark and loves to make people laugh that is correct and yet his mischievous smile and witty retort simply distra distract from the question constantly burning him is he a good person what what the hell is that like so okay so let's keep going and how and how would he know his parents were were far from role models yet he fears himself fated to follow their path but perhaps if that Aes Sedai is to be trusted his future may have other things in store so Matt has shitty parents what the f what are we talking about here Matt's parents, especially his father, was pretty well respected in the two river, rivers, known as like the best horse trader you could you could have. He he at one point, spoilers, he in with concern for his son, he travels all the way to Tar Valen from the two rivers just looking for him because he's had no word. Him and Tam take a journey just on the off chance to see if they can figure out what has happened to their sons. He becomes one of the. He becomes a, a general in Perrin's army, if I recall correctly, which I think I do. Why? Why? Why do we have to have a character who is this? Is, he's going to be the brooding. Uh, I'm a bad person. Uh, I'm always frowning. Uh, you know, my parents were mean to me, so uh, I'm. I'm. Uh, I don't know how to feel about myself. Uh, my parents suck, so I'm going to suck. Uh, or maybe you know what? Even worse, maybe they're criminals. <laughs> maybe maybe they steal horses. Maybe they. I don't know, but like this paints such a bad view of the Cawthon family. And the fact is, he's afraid he's going to be like his his parents. I, I just I, I don't understand why we go down this route. Why? What what do, what do we gain from this? Because. Like, I in the books I instantly like Matt because he's just a fun, carefree kid. You know, look at looking to to get away with mischief. You know, get a few more cakes. Uh, you know, you, you know, spread rumors and and uh, you know, you know, not duck out of responsibility and be carefree. This makes him sound like a piece of shit. Excuse my language. Sorry. This doesn't sound like a guy that I'm going to go, man, I hope this guy pulls through this okay. Because, man, he doesn't deserve to be in this position. This, this is, I mean, it, it doesn't. It just doesn't sound like Matt at all, in my opinion. Disagree with me if you want. Okay. The last thing we got here is this is the clip that I mentioned before. It's an interview with the actor about Matt himself and uh, 
how he was told to portray, I guess, I don't know about told, but how he's interpreted what the script says for him to be acting. Now again, this actor is only playing Matt for season one, which, you know what, I think actually could have worked very well because, you know, you got the events of season one and their major events that, that change Matt fundamentally. He's always, you know, he he's he. he I, I shouldn't say change him because, in the in the his heart, he's the same person, but he becomes much more serious after the events of the first book, um, and, and you know it, it's. But in the in the root of it, you're always pulling for Matt. You, you know, at least I was. Um, so let's listen what what we have to say here, and, and let, we may stop him in the middle. I I don't. Rem it's been a while. It's been a few days since I listened to this, but let's listen to it again together. Okay, we we may stop in the middle. Matt is probably seen as the sort of uh, light relief of the books and of the series. But okay, fine, good. Just stop. Just stop right there. Light relief. Good, exclamation point, done. Cool guy, awesome, The one of the best. Oh, great. <laughs> of course, that's not the end. You haven't even seen the actor, let's keep going. He's much more complicated. I think he's sort of- in He is much more complicated, but let's, let's, let's go back a little bit here. All right, much more complicated. complicated. I think his sort of inner monologue is very much like, I'm a bad person. Like Excuse me? Do, I'm a bad person. What are we? What the hell is this? Never once did I think to myself, "Oh, Matt hates himself." <laughs> it's never once ever crossed my mind in the books. Is it? Does he? Is he trying to get? Does he try to get out of responsibility? And and he, does he feel like sometimes he's being dragged into things? Sure, but does he think he's bad? Never, never. Like I don't deserve this something to do with. So he de he doesn't feel like he deserves it, because not not like ooh I'm a bad person I don't deserve good things. Like he he's trying he he doesn't he just wants to be left alone for the most part until he just embraces it. But he doesn't you know he he wants to be able to he doesn't want to be tied to anybody he wants to be able to go on his own path. And he's always tied to a specific other character that we all know and love. Well, I don't know if we all love him, but I love him. Maybe, like, the poverty that he has and the ideas of sort of reincarnation and the stuff that you've done in a previous life coming into the fore. So, yeah, he sees himself as quite a bad person, but his actions are always good. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so hold on. Let, let's, let's back this up a little bit here. His sort of inner monologue is very much like, I'm a bad person. Like, I don't deserve this. Something to do with maybe, like, the poverty that he has and the ideas of sort of reincarnation and the stuff Th that he's Did he see the poverty he has? Well, let me turn this up a little bit. I think his sort of inner monologue is very much like, I'm a bad person, like I don't deserve this, something to do with maybe like the poverty that he has and the ideas of sort of reincarnating. They're farmers. What the fuck does poverty have to do with any of this? I'm sorry, excuse my language. I'm getting a little upset. They're, they're all this. They they live in the two rivers. Poverty. They're all like, money is not a big deal to them. The stuff that you've done in a previous life coming into the fore. Reincarnation. What? The, oh God. All right. Yeah. Whatever. So yeah, he sees himself as quite a bad person. But he sees himself as a bad person. So I don't know if this is. A case of the actor fundamentally not knowing what the heck he's talking about about the character he's playing or if this is just uh, Matt being written completely wrong I guess we're gonna see but his actions are always good Matt's relationship with Rand is like his actions are always good I don't know I don't know if they're always good but that's you know for up for interpretation they're always right I guess he's trying to do the right th he always tries to do the right thing even if he's forced sometimes against his will 
like they've grown up together they've known each other since they were kids and they're very sort of banterous with each other um and yeah i think i see him as sort of quite stubborn and quite so there, okay, so there's a hint of it right there. They're banterous with each other, but what is Max all this other stuff? The brand is like they've grown up together. They've known each other since they were kids, and they're very sort of banterous with each other. Um, and yeah, I think I see him as sort of quite stubborn and quite. They're all stubborn. Serious all the time. Wait, stubborn? Did he just say stubborn and serious? Yeah, I think I see him as. Sort oh, of see, quite Stubborn and quite you know serious okay. all the time excuse me which i find quite irritating i think i find both of them irritating i'm not really sure why i'm friends with either of them um <clears throat> hmm I, I i'm sort of speechless he's irritated with random parent all the time and he hates them but he does, so he doesn't know why he's friends with them okay right on but you know, yeah, but they're loyal and loving and good friends to me. Oh, I, I, I don't know. I don't, I like, do, do we, do we see why, I, I mean, can, like, uh, I mean, maybe, maybe this is the gambler face. But I, that, that looks more looks like the evil, I'm gonna kill you face. Maybe the mischievous face, maybe, I don't know. But so this this interview does not do Matt, Matt any favors, or I'm sorry, Barney Harris, as Matt any favors. It uh, and, and look once again, this could be a complete overreaction. But between this uh, and the synopsis of his family and him wanting to get out of the shadow of his terrible parents. Um, you know, like I said, there are some small things in here that make me hope that maybe he is quirky and, and mischievous, but um, I don't know if this is just the interpretation of the actor of how, and if even if it is, that's how he's playing the character. So is that gonna is is that gonna translate to how he's supposed to be acting? Is his you know I'm a bad person attitude gonna translate to how? Matt is, and maybe, hey, maybe that's why he's not in the second season. Maybe he, maybe he couldn't get, maybe he couldn't figure out Matt. Maybe he wasn't the Matt we all hoped he could be. And maybe that's why he's not in season two, because he didn't hit the mark. Well, I guess we'll see in a few days. But uh, I'll leave it to you guys. What do you think? How are you feeling about Matt? Oh, how are you feeling about the rest of the characters? You think the rest of the characters are looking okay compared to the books? Um, I'm thinking most of them so far seem to be okay compared to the books, just from what I've seen. Um, I think I'm hoping most of them translate pretty good. Um, it's seeming that way. Um, Matt's the only one I have major concerns about right now, but you know we're it's, we're gonna know here very shortly, uh, and I'm excited to see it. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to cover the show, uh, whether I'm going to do an episode at a time or or just uh, go for it. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, how would you like me to cover the, the show, uh, episode at a time, or should I do the first three and then an episode at a time? What do you think? Uh, any input is much appreciated. Um, please, uh, if you like the content I've been providing, leave a like and subscribe. Uh, any comments are much appreciated and uh, I will respond if I can and uh, thank you for watching and until next time all hail the Lord Dragon long live the son of battles and we'll see you next time